Hello and welcome to Talk Solon, the show where we share local views on news that's cropped up in the week. I'm Charlotte Biredney and joining us in the studio today are Mike Stratton, who's an engineer, and Sarah Ali Chowdhury, a TV chef and food columnist. So today we're going to start with a story in the Pompey Pensioner, which is a magazine I've got here actually. It's a magazine that comes out I think twice a year and deals with all sorts of topics that are of interest to pensioners in the city. And here on page three they've got a very small article about jury service and basically they're saying that people over 70 should be allowed to do it. So I thought to ask our panel what, what they thought. Thank you very much for coming in to start oh, with. Nice Sarah, what here. do you think? Should, should people over 70 be allowed to do jury service? Yes, I think they should, but I can see why sometimes they might be feeling as though they shouldn't because obviously um, some sort of illnesses and stuff kick in sort of after 70, so maybe that could be the reason why they don't want anybody like, you know, sort of causing any issues. But um, I think it should be up until about 80, 85. Really? As late as yeah. that? Really? Yeah. And do you think it should be over 70 all people should just be allowed to do it and should just be just enrolled you know in the same way that younger people are enrolled in jury service or perhaps there should be a different way of doing it checking no, that they I are okay it's... medically and mentally well let's face it some people who are dealing with it who are supposedly okay to be doing it must have some mental issues there so i think in terms of um age wise i don't think it should be an issue on who's, you know, who, what age that are chosen to do that. And what do you think, Mike? Do you agree with that? Any age should yeah, be able I, to do it? I think it's brilliant that they do it. Well, um, you think it's brilliant that people yeah, get to yeah, do jury yeah, service for, yeah, to start yeah. with? I think, I, th I think it's brilliant that if you, if you get pensioners to do jury service, you're going to get a more, I think you're going to get a more mature approach. Because obviously, I mean, you could be case. a pensioner yeah, aged yeah, 55 yeah. plus or even younger, yeah. really. I think you'll get a more, a more mature approach to the case. I think they would home in on it a bit more, take a little bit more on board, pay more attention to detail. And I'm, I think, well, if you're, if you're capable of doing it, do it. Do you but, think maybe perhaps it should be optional then? You know, because at yeah, the moment, if the you moment get signed up for jury service, you, you basically have, you to, have do to do it. it. You have forced, to do it. You Yeah, you're forced. I think, yeah, over, over retirement age, it should be voluntary. OK. But I don't see why that, the pension shouldn't be ruled out. OK. Um, you know, it should be given the option. Well, people over 70, I mean, they might not be pensioners. Many no, people over no. 70 still well, in work, yeah. you know, whether yeah. full-time and part-time. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, a lot of people, I mean, you, you did point this out, Sarah, a lot of people over 70 do start having health conditions, whether it's, you know, something serious like dementia or maybe just yeah. getting more but tired. But saying that, there are some people who are not 70 who, who mm. might have those problems. So I think it's just a case of, you know, the, the individual, but I don't think there should be a, a limit as to what age they should be allowed to do it. OK, so we, we, could, we could go up and up the age and ask people if they want to do it at that age, if they feel, you know, happy doing it, then they should be allowed to. Yeah. And what do you think of the idea of jury service generally? Do you think it's a good idea having kind of any Tom, Dick, Harry, Joanne and Susan well, think, making yeah. decisions about people's lives? Or? You get asked to, you know, to go and do it and you don't get a say, do you? you have to turn up. And I think that's somewhat wrong you might you know I don't I just don't think that that's really that fair that you get told you can defer it well, if you, you can, want to but yeah it's, uh, you know it's not you kind of normally seen that you know you should be attending um I don't think they should have that in there to, to make you feel as though you know you have to and I know you can defer it but it should be an open sort of a request more than a sort of come on you're ordered to do this. But I mean, if everybody yeah. was requested, then everyone could just say no, couldn't they? And just say like, you know, because everyone feels like their life is, you know, they're the center of their universe and that their yeah. life is much more busy than everyone else's. So if you weren't made to do it, then you, more, more, more people than not, I think, would probably well, I say no. I've never been asked to do it. You've never so, been asked? Yeah. <laughs> they're not asking me. <laughs> but um, no, but I think. But well, I let think, them know you're keen then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I haven't been asked, but I know you know a lot of people have been asked, and um, you know, and have done it. And I think um, I think everybody should have their own opinion in freedom of speech or freedom not to speak, as such. And what do you think? Do you do you like the idea of jury service? Generally? Think, well, it's essential. It is essential. You think it's essential. Yeah, it's essential. You think it's a good yeah. way yeah, it's of essential. making decisions. Yeah, I, about... yeah, I do. I do because I don't think a judge could um, clearly make the decision on his own. Or her own. Or her own. Um, 
There are no good asking me to do jury service because you said about the mentor. I got that when I was 25, so I've got no <laughs> chance. But, um, no, I, I like the idea of jury service. I think you get fair. You, you think know, the people yeah, get think, a fair yeah, hearing? Yeah, I think they get a fair you? hearing, yeah. I, d I don't know if there's some people in there that would be a bit biased. Um, but I still think that a, a group of 12 people... Is it 12? It's yeah, 12, it's 12, isn't it? 12, I, think, yeah. I, I do think a group of 12 people is better than just one person sat behind a bench. OK, even though they've got no experience of, you know, criminal law or criminals per se? I think... Well, they all go into a room and discuss it, don't they? Mm, yeah, and yeah, they've yeah, all yeah. got to vote unanimously. I think it I think depends it, on the case, it, but it's, they normally do ask that yeah, you... And I, then afterwards, if yeah. they can't reach an agreement, then sometimes yeah. they let you not agree unanimously. I still, I still think it's a good idea. I don't think a judge could make his own decision. I think if a judge did, did have to make his own decision, um, I don't think it'd be a, the right one. OK, interesting. You see judges with all these books on the desk, don't you? I don't even think some of them know the law properly. <laughs> Let's have a look through this book. <laughs> oh, yes, 25 years. Do, yeah, do you think that kind of I don't Joe think... Public are better I'm at making decisions? I'm not going to judge. I think they've studied for years to get to where they are and, you know, massive respect for them um, in in sense of studying that much and getting to where they are and making the right decision. And I think they've been selected... Uh, yeah. to make the right decision, obviously, on the people who have who are helping them to make a decision. Whoops, been disagreed with on no, the subject. No, that's all right. Well. No, no, that's the point. That's we want people one. to have no. We want people to have different opinions because we don't all agree about things, and no. you know, that's we have the system that we have, and it's important to talk about it. We're going to move on now, and the Daily Echo is reporting that skateboarders won't be allowed on Southampton's Guildhall Square during events and festivals. So, first off, do do we think that's fair? Is that a good decision? Oh, that's a very good decision. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Um, health and safety. OK. So there's a festival going on, yeah, skateboarders will cause yeah, chaos, will yeah, they? Health and safety, I think. You, I, I was reading that, and, and although a, a majority of them home in on health and safety and, and the, the, the code of conduct, yeah. there's always going to be one that doesn't. Um, and you, you do have to take into account the general public's health and safety. Mm. That's what I feel. Do you agree with that, Sarah? Um, I don't... Here we go, round two. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't agree with that. I don't think the skateboarders, I don't think they cause it, you know. I, I, I do sometimes think that if you're walking on a pavement, you know they kind of, like, go round you. Yeah. But they don't hit you. They seem to know exactly what they're doing. Cause sometimes I don't even know there's anybody behind me and all of a sudden you hear this, the sound of a skateboard. <laughs> and you just, they've already overtaken you. You didn't even know what was going on. So I think they're really in control of what they're doing. And, um, and I don't think... I mean, you will always get... Yeah, everybody throws can you know can, can be a threat to somebody at, at any time, um, but I don't think that um, I think they they know what they're doing. They're keeping control of themselves. They do they use these skateboard parks so they can sort of get more expert at what they're doing and uh, define the use of exactly how to use the skateboard. So I think um, that they need those skateboard parks and they need you know they they need all those facilities to help them. Uh, to improve themselves. It's just like any other sport. I mean, just because they're not winning a sort of big prize or a medal or anything, but I mean, it's the same with football or tennis or anything else. It's, it's, a, it's a hobby that, that is a bit like a sport. Yeah. No, no, it absolutely is a sport. And there are kind of amazing competitions that I've seen people, you know, doing the bikes and skateboarding, things like that. Yeah. And you think, crank it, now they do that. But, I mean, some people would say that a Guildhall Square, which is, you know, arguably one of the city's most important squares, is no place for skateboarders. And as you said, they should be going to their skate parks and skating there and leaving people to do what they want in Guildhall Square. No, do you... oh, no, 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 you not don't think necessarily. that. I think they could actually make a thing of it if they were to put something in the Guildhall Park or wherever it is. Um, is it a park or...? I think it's just a square. I think it's that's what square. they're talking okay. about. There's the Guildhall well, and then there's a kind of part of the university, I believe, next okay. to it. Um, well, I mean, so it's just concrete, like a concrete square, really. <laughs> OK, maybe they could do something there to, um, to attract interest so that you have more people doing an activity they enjoy, but they're not actually affecting the people around them. OK, yeah, see, that was my argument. So if my they worked yeah. it into the architecture yeah. or something. My, my argument is health and safety around Joe Public. Driver error, rider error, pilot error, okay. skateboarder's error. 
Because there, you know, there would be concerns like old people yeah. walking around just going about their business. You don't want them sort of knocked over or feeling like they can't go there because there are all these people whizzing around, you know. Because it can be, can be a bit well, much. Well, I mean, yeah, I can understand if it, when you put it like that. But I think if they were to integrate sort of a skateboard park, okay. it might be sort of enclosed, but you could see what was going on. See through it. And it might actually be a little bit of entertainment for people who are walking by as well, you know. So yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. We're in agreement now. I think that's a great idea. Walking sticks yeah. away and yeah. get on a skateboard. They have that in places kind of in... If you've been on the South Bank in London, they have those they've bits those, under yeah, the brutalist them. buildings yeah. where they've got skateboards so, I mean, and I think things. they could integrate something like that. And then okay. that way it wouldn't be a chaos on the actual sort of path areas where people are public areas where people are walking, but they would be walking onto a sort of separate area where people could see okay. them. Oh, that's, that's a really interesting idea, yeah. Well, how much derelict land is there that's not being used that they could turn into little parks? You see, they've got a skate park in Southsea. Yeah. And you always see people up there on roller skates as well. Do you think there's enough sort of funding for these sports that aren't, you know, traditional sports, if we can put it like that? There's nothing around for anybody anymore. There's no funding and therefore there is nothing. I mean, there used to be play parks years ago. How many play parks do you see? Just bulk standard play parks with swings, slides. And I know it's going slightly off the subject of skateboards, but there's no facilities for youngsters of any, and I say youngsters because I wouldn't go around, I can't even, I've tried to skateboard, I've fell on my backside more times. Well, you're than braver than me, I think. <laughs> but, um, I've, I've never been able to, to, to use a skateboard, but there's nothing around, there's no facilities for anybody to enjoy what they enjoy. Well, it's really interesting you mention that because later in the programme we'll be talking about young people doing exercise. But that's all we've got time for in this segment, so stay tuned and do let us know what you're thinking by tweeting using the hashtag TalkSolent or you can email us talk at thatsolent.com. Stay tuned.